I'm not moving into his trailer. I wouldn't be able to fit any of my stuff in there. I'm not moving in there. I'm going to get my own place. He can stream whenever he wants to. Thanks. You like my earrings. Thank you. No, he doesn't have a license. And I'm actually surprised, like, people have not bought him. I'm not saying a brand new car. I'm just actually surprised that people love him so much and have not bought him a car. And I was actually thinking about that earlier because I, I would seriously teach him. He can fucking do it. Oh, yeah. It was kind of creepy. They went to his house and they weren't there, so... You know, there's like only two Walmarts in Casper, I guess. That's what the guy told me because I guess his friends were like, she's at Walmart, blah, blah, blah. So they like tracked us down. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, it was really a federal agent. Yes, it was. What did he get? A uh, fireball. But I'm not going to lie, I drank most of that fireball. But I usually, I do ask Josh if I can drink his stuff. I don't just take his stuff and just fucking like, drink it you know I do ask him so oh he said that oh I didn't know he said that cheesies Aww. well he is a fucking good guy mm, I don't have a straight yard uh, he needs to keep his next address private. Yes, he does. Uh, she better not be trying to get his new fucking address out of him. Well, I was going to get his fucking bike fixed for him while I was there, but um, somebody who said they were going to resend three packages to Josh never resent them. They said they were also going to send um, a new inner tube and slime for Josh. They never fucking did that either. So I guess in the end, they were a goddamn troll because they had plenty of time to get all of that out to Josh and I would have gotten his fucking bike fixed for him and I was I was seriously fucking I was pissed the few times we did go uh to the post office and he did not have anything from that person I'm like <laughs> just like whatever and hopefully if Josh really wanted to learn how to drive bad enough hopefully he would not I, I don't think Josh would risk putting his life or someone else's life in danger for that. So hopefully that would like, you know, make him like want to drink a little bit less. But uh, I think he could drive. And yeah, you know, I'm just surprised like nobody's bought him any, you know, just like a whatever kind of car, like something cheap. Because uh, seriously, he could fucking learn. And I had no problem driving in Wyoming except for like the wide open spaces that like I don't know. It, like, does something to my brain. It fucks me up. Other than that, I drove fine. Josh and Aaron had no problems with how I drove. So I don't... I really honestly wouldn't see a problem with Josh. You know, he just... Yeah, he'd have to cut down on the drinking and stuff, but... Yeah, I, I don't know how he's going to feel about me wanting to manage his money, but... You know, it just makes me sad when he says he can't afford a car, when yet he most certainly could afford a car he could afford a car way faster than I ever could. He really could. But yeah, he needs, I don't want him to think I'm, you know, I only want the best for Josh, but he really could afford one. Keep paying for me and fucking Josh's goddamn clock tower dream house. As soon as we hit the goal, I'm swiping that off. I will take all the money. He is not going to be in charge of any of his clock tower. I will be in charge of all of that. What, I can't love Josh because his teeth are messed up? Who are you? Are you the dictator? Probably nobody loves your ass and you have all of your fucking teeth. How, how does that make you feel, bitch? You probably have a small dick, too, so... Because people are actually being nice right now. And I'm not a bad person, so...
I mean, seriously, I don't give a fuck. Josh is still goddamn handsome, even if his teeth are messed up. But so, so the fuck, what? You probably have fucking perfect teeth, but your soul is fucking, uh, soulless. <laughs> your soul is soulless, bitch, and, uh, you have dead eyes, so. Exactly, you can't buy a new personality, you can't get a fucking new soul. So, like, seriously, who are you? I'm sorry. When I would watch Josh's videos, I would just look at, like, oh my god, this guy's so fucking adorable and cute. And they say the worst things about his lips, but I fucking love his beautiful, luscious lips. I don't care, there's somebody for everyone, and I found him. And people are just fucking jealous. They're like, oh, look at me, I got all my teeth, I don't drink botulism, me, but nobody look. Yeah, because you're a dick. He knows about how it can affect him. He's not stupid. He knows. And they probably, yes, they probably have fucking thin lips that there's nothing there to kiss. I'm sorry. Josh has the most... Oh, sorry. I love his lips. I didn't say nobody's fucking jealous. Uh, the loser incels, though, that have never gotten their dick sucked, though. Yeah, they are jealous. Cause, no, they technically... They are jealous because, again... They try to compare themselves to Josh, but you can't do that. You gotta work on your fucking self and, you know, quit being a bitch. <laughs> That's what you have to do. No, I fucking love Josh. His lips are so full and... Oh, oh my god. But yeah, a guy with, like, thin pencil fucking lips, like a thin pencil dick. Ugh. That snaps in the middle. <laughs> mm, that snaps in the middle like a goddamn Slim Jim? No, 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 we're, we're not doing that. Do I want kids? Yes. Oh, Dia says that, does Cobra want to have a child with Jessica? <gasps> you paused! You paused! I paused? Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't... Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Joshua Face Wonders. Do you want to have babies? No, I don't want to have babies. Oh, stop it right now! <laughs> I don't want to start a family until I build my clock tower dream house. Okay, what well, if you have a clock tower tomorrow? You have a fucking goddamn baby. I'm getting a call from Jessica. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> let's not even go there. Oh, I call them pencil fucking dicks. <laughs> no, you know, uh, I'm not even going to be fucking nasty or gross on here, so I'll just keep it to myself. If Josh is watching, Josh knows. I'll just say that. But <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to elaborate any further. And no, I've never had scatterbrain whiskey. I'm not going to say anything. Just Josh knows, but I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's watching. I'm not, I'm not going to be nasty. <sighs> I don't even do OnlyFans. I have one, but there's nothing on there. Oh, he probably is fucking knocked out on that goddamn moonshine. I bet he is. I'm sure he is. I don't know. I don't know if Josh wants to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, I would like to... I do want to gamble with Josh. That's one thing we didn't do that I did. That was another thing I forgot that I wanted to do that it was to go to the fucking casino. Uh, yeah, there's a few things I forgot that I wanted to do myself. But, and then knowing I had Aaron's car, I'm like, fuck, like, how do you forget certain things? I don't know, but it's fine. We'll gamble wherever the hell we gamble. And yeah, it would be nice to go to Vegas with him. That would be nice. I've never, I've only been there at the airport. I've never been there any other time. Just at the airport for a layover. Babies like me. Like, people have babies at Walmart. Like, seriously, like, little babies. And, like, you know, like, the mothers would be like, Oh, my baby's, like, flirting with you. Because they'll just, like, stare at me and stuff, so. And, like, I used to work at one sushi place. And there was this little baby, or, like, a little whatever baby in a stool. That kid, everywhere I went, that kid had their eyes on me. They were, like, moving their head. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, it's too cute. And then even a few months ago when I was at Kroger, some little kid said hi to me. And then I think like the next time I was at Walmart and some little kid said hi to me. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Hey, how I could have won the lottery is it was it was June 2nd, 2021. 
my birthday is June 7th, but this was June 2nd, 20. I wasn't going to 7-Eleven to play Powerball or Mega. I was going there to play Pick 4. It was before 2 o'clock. Well, actually, it was before 1.45 in the afternoon, to be exact. And uh, I was standing in line, and a voice outside my head, it was not a female voice, it was a male's voice, it said, if you play your numbers, you will win. It did not give me the numbers, because I've already been playing these numbers for some years now. Anyways, I don't know. I stood there like a dumbass. I didn't get out of line. When I went up to the cashier, I didn't like ask them to punch my numbers in. Even when I paid for my stuff, I didn't get out of line. Or even when I paid for my stuff, I didn't go back and like fill out another thing. Nothing. But seriously, I left this store like feeling confused. I did. Like I was like, I was supposed to do something, but I forgot. And like my brain was like wiped out. So I had all day, right? Because Mega Millions ends at 9... Or not Mega. Powerball ends at 9.45. I had all day, right? All day. All motherfucking day. And then it's 9.45. I'm so fucking happy. Because Mega Millions ends at 10.45, right? So I got so happy. really, And then I got really sad. Because I realized it was 9.45. So tell me what kind of cruel shit... Oh, you, you forget when you're at the store. And then by the time you remember, it's the time it stops. So it was like cruel intentions all around. And then I went live. Yeah, because I, you know, used to live stream a long time ago before any of you people came around. Just talking to the little five people or so in my chat. And I was talking about the lottery. And I said, oh yeah, let me look up my numbers. They better not have fucking come out. Those are my exact words. And my numbers came out and it was like a stab to the fucking heart. It was a stab to my fucking heart. I wanted to just melt out of my chair onto the ground and just die. And I'm sorry. You can't just tell people to get over that. I talk about the same shit I always do. Whatever I want. (laughs) Food. Whatever kind of bullshit's going on in my life. The Etsy ring is chef's kiss. That's exactly what I do. Five stars on that when I <laughs> did she pick it out or did you pick it out? I picked it out to be honest because she loves opals and I love fire opals. And when I showed her a link to the ring, she immediately fell in love with it. She was like, I must have it. And then me being the man doing manly boyfriend <laughs> responsibilities, I'm like, I'll make it happen. <laughs> you know, like, you're gonna say you're gonna make it happen, then do it. Did she know you were getting it though? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. I Tell her about it. She, you know, teasing her with it a little bit. And then when she got it, now she's wearing it. So they get her a bond because the one she had broke, and I get her a ring. It's not. What, what, what broke? Something it's, broke. It's a girlfriend ring. You just said something broke. What broke? She had a ring that broke. You no, know, she had a fucking bong that she was smoking out of that broke, and I felt bad, so I got her a fucking new bong. And it's one that doesn't break when you drop it. And it's one of her favorite colors. So I'm like, that works. And What's her favorite color? Green? green? What's that? What's her favorite color? Green? She likes green and purple and black. I like purple. But I don't want to answer any more questions about her. You don't have to, dude. You don't have to. People are going to assume shit, Josh. The whole point is that you have to be fucking happy and you have to be with somebody that... And here's the thing, dude, is that you're going to have, you know that you have like a substantial amount of fucking trolls on the internet that are going to try to orchestrate or do some fucked up shit to make you think certain things. But exactly what they do to Jessica. They say and do things like twist everything that I say on YouTube, try to get me and Jessica to fight. And it's so stupid. Okay. No, I don't know what the fuck I saw. I don't know what the fuck I just saw. I, I don't even want to say what it was. I literally don't even want to say what it was, but I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of creeped out. Mm. It's kind of funny that you guys fucking could see that you must you must have seen something in my fucking face because I don't know what the fuck I saw. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you guys. No, I don't. No, no, because if I got stupid watching me and stuff like that, nope.